Hi, I'm Emma. I'm a 4A nanotechnology engineering student at Waterloo, and I'm going to talk to you today about my exchange experience, which was at the National University of Singapore in fall 2019, which I did over my 3B term of nanotechnology engineering. Singapore is a small city state in Southeast Asia. It's surrounded by Malaysia on the north and Indonesia in the south, and it's a really central place to travel around Southeast Asia. Singapore itself is a really vibrant and busy city with a lot about the same land area as the city of Toronto, but the small size doesn't mean there isn't a lot to do. Singapore is packed with theme parks, nature parks, shopping centers, and food markets. Within Singapore, NUS is on the southern shore, and the downtown areas are pretty easily accessible by the easy and convenient public transit system. As a nanotechnology engineering student, it can be difficult to find an exchange school that will have courses to match our really specialized ones. But I was able to take courses from different faculties and programs at NUS to meet all of my requirements. And I even got to take some really specialized grad level courses that I wouldn't have been able to take at Waterloo. Something unique about NUS compared to Waterloo is that many upper year students live in the residences, including the local Singaporeans. This creates a really strong campus community with a lot of events and activities happening year round. I chose to live in Yusof Hall, which is a residence hall, and that means it's mostly full time students with fewer exchange students. And there are a lot of events and clubs compared to a typical residence. So while I was there, I joined the Yusof Choir and took part in a lot of hall events like late night hot pot dinners. One major thing I learned is the different teaching and learning styles. So coursework in Singapore tends to be more group focused and usually your mark comes only from a midterm, a final, and about one to three group projects and assignments. This was really great because it allowed me to work with both local and international students on these group projects. The lectures there were also really great because there was a lot of class participation and there were smaller class sizes than I was used to in my program at Waterloo. So there was a lot of class professor interaction. Uh, one course I was able to take in Singapore was a Southeast Asian natural resources geography class. And I learned a lot about the natural and man-made geographies of Southeast Asia. And then after the term and throughout the term in my travels, I was able to see a lot of these different areas of Southeast Asia because I did a few hiking trips. Um, finally, I was able to take some new opportunities. I didn't know anyone else going to NUS on exchange. So I was really able to take the chance to make new friends, many of whom I still talk to regularly. Having to focus less on grades and school compared to a regular term at Waterloo due to the pass-fail nature of exchange grading, allowed me to, uh, to say yes to doing a lot of activities with friends throughout the term. So overall, I hope you consider going on exchange, and it really was the highlight of my undergrad.